Hello and uh, good evening. Just a quick one today. So um, I've sorted out my uh, turn it down or mute it. Uh, put the UNFC8. Um, so I've sorted out my um, two meter seventy seven zone antenna at home uh, for um, a Diamond X50 and uh, from the uh, X30 I had, not saying the X30 wasn't any good, but what I realised was that um, when I go on the, the field day next Saturday, I don't have um, a VHF, UHF antenna for the 705, but what would be quite fun is uh, to try some SSTV whilst I'm there and see what I can do, make any contacts, so I thought, well, I used the uh, the bike stand mast and put the diamond uh, antenna in that and give that a try. I'm pleased to say the X50 seems to be doing really well. I've already hit one repeater I couldn't before. Um, unfortunately there was no one on it to give me a signal report but all the existing ones I could hit like uh, Mir and uh, Bentner on the Isle of Wight. Um, no, problem, no problem there at all. Um, I'll see later on whether I can hit the one down in, in Weymouth. Maybe that's asking a little too much. But uh, at the moment, I'm just doing some two meter signal testing. One of the times when I do like to use FT8 just to see how I'm doing there. Uh, I obviously don't treat this as as, uh, as good as for making contacts, but at least now I can see uh, how good the antenna's performing. As you can see, um, the SWR on it, yet again, is absolutely fantastic. Wait for the transmit cycle to come through. Boom. Yeah, apparently the X50, uh, according to the specification, the X, looking at the specification, um, X30 says 3 dB gain and 5.5 on 70 cents. And the X50, 4.5 and 7.2 on 77. So that's a considerable increase, uh, you know, uh, for a, a, little, a little more money. Um, so yeah, I'll keep that one at home because it's slightly bigger and uh, I wouldn't say it's heavier, but I just think um, trying to get that around compared to the X30, which you know, goes down into that size. Um, will be somewhat easier, more portable um, to carry around. So yeah, um, got the 705 hooked up into my computer and I've got some uh, more grounding rods to come today with the, the strips so I can do my computer down there and uh, anything electrical that's going to come up here I can go into that one. So that'll be uh, the bonding with the computer done. And uh, once I get the bonding done and the, the wires in place and tidy them up a bit, um, I think I'm going to move the uh, artificial ground over here so I can see it up here, up here I think. Um, it's not too, too late, so I'll do it, do it now before I get annoyed with having to lean round. Uh, it's got a Kiwi on the top of the eye. I might on there as well at the moment. So yeah, I'll be doing that. And uh, the next stage is to do the audio. So uh, get all the audio, get all the audio cables um, patched into the amplifier, and the mixer, and the graphic equaliser, and that way I can use the uh, headphones from the uh, output of the amp and the mixer, and uh, adjust it accordingly. I mean, I've got a DSP as well. Um, or the 7300. Um, I could use it on the, on the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> on the TS690 as well. Um, I've got a, a DSP uh, module uh, for the for the output. Um, could give that a try as well. I had it on there before. It's quite good. Um, does make the signals a little bit blocky, but um, yeah, I'm about to show you once I put that in, but. That's the next stage really, uh, do the audio, um, get the bonding right and then uh, get the aerials 
right um, best I can with the current setup and uh, then do the audio. Um, got my other antenna up because the worst antenna is the, the one that's not being used and that, that metal pole there, I'm going to pop a video on it, is my um, lower antenna. It's got a temporary support on that at the moment. Uh, my friend and I will be uh, rigging that and uh, guying it down later on when uh, I can have my ladder back. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a lower antenna on top there. And uh, this is the little Raspberry Pi that does the magic in receiving the Noah images. And the last time was uh, utterly demolished by a Chinese USB power extender. <laughs> so yeah, I shall uh, put that in. I think that will be um, almost everything in terms of like uh, verticals and um, yeah, the thing. The next thing to do would be. Uh, never ending quest to put more radials down on the 6B TV and fit the two additional antennas I've got to put on there um, correct uh, 50 megahertz so it's uh, resonant um, in the hope that I pass my full license and um, I'll see what I've got to put on there I've got another antenna to put on there as well but I'll, I'll put, keep putting the radials on as well anyway got a log with our fault um, hope you're all keeping well hope you enjoyed the videos uh, take care, stay safe, 70 fees, Chiricka Zero, Fox Zero, Scarecrow. Bye for now.